Do you ever wonder what your dog or cat is trying to say to you? Well, there's a team of researchers that are working to make that possible. I'm Zach. This is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. And let's take a look at this. A while back, I spoke about a company named Gavagi. They're a Swedish company that's working on a universal translator. That translates everything, including dolphin. And there have been results of this thing working. MIT has developed AI that can translate the language of marmosets. It's a very simple language, only 15 different sounds, but they have an AI that can tell you what the marmoset means. Heck, there is a program right now going on that is working to study the face of sheep to see if they're in pain. It uses an AI algorithm to detect minor changes in the way the ears are laying or the eyes are opening or nostrils flaring, all that kind of stuff, to let farmers know if their sheep might be coming into a sickness or might be hurt. And with all that being said, I come to Konstanz Slobodchnov. He's a researcher in the biology department of the Northern University of Arizona. For the longest time, his work revolved around prairie dogs and trying to decipher what their calls meant. Well, Konstanz and his team we're able to write a program that can actually decipher what prairie dogs are saying in their little squeaks and chirps and everything. In fact, they found that prairie dogs' vocalizations are so precise that they won't just tell their community members if there's a predator. They can also get a specific as type of predator, dog, human, stuff like that, and the color of their clothing or the color of their fur. So those little squeaks you hear are them saying, oh, look, there's a person over there wearing a blue shirt. And Constance's AI can interpret. So according to him, if we can do this with prairie dogs, we can certainly do it with dogs and cats. And that led to the creation of his company, Zoolingua. Their focus is to combine machine learning AI with facial recognition programs in order to take all the vocal and physical cues that our animals give to us and tell us exactly what they're thinking. Now, of course, this isn't quite the same as, say, the dogs in Up. He made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! But he expects this machine to be able to tell the owners if the dog is hungry, needs a walk, is in pain, is happy to see them, is scared of something. All those other things that we can't quite determine by our interactions with our animal friends. This project is still in its infancy, but Constance believes that he will have a working AI out within the next 10 years. Right now, he's working on gathering thousands of dog and cat photos and videos and working with the owners of these animals to try to figure out exactly what people think these actions mean. All this will have to be fed into his custom algorithm and eventually it should be able to tell with a high certainty what our furry friends are thinking. Oh no, you kicked me. And what do you think? Is this a good idea? Should we be wondering what our animals are thinking or do you think it's going to be pretty negative? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button and subscribe so you know when I upload something new. I put my videos out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, have fun and be safe.